Hello and welcome to the XCP Developer Tutorial Demo. We hope that this demonstration will serve as a guide for creating applications based on the XCP platform. We also hope that it will provide inspiration for the types of applications that can easily be created using the powerful tools provided with XCP 2.x. XCP stands for Accelerated Composition Platform and is EMC's next generation platform for creating case management applications. XCP's main benefit to organizations is that it allows developers to rapidly construct applications by providing excellent design and developer tools. The key point of focus is on accelerating the delivery of reusable applications through a configurable model rather than through a lot of coding. Also, to provide an application development environment that integrates almost all the various pieces. The applications developed using XCP can even be deployed to the private cloud. In this demonstration, you will see some of the significant technology changes brought about by the unified XCP 2.x development environment and a new runtime model. Before we go on, we need to explain that case management is a pattern of work that allows organizations to automate routine tasks and to aggregate multiple sources of information into a collaborative work environment. The way this information is presented improves decision making. The document of XCP 2 technology allows developers to compose and deploy case management applications that integrate people, processes, and information rapidly. Developers can automate structured processes, expedite unstructured case processes, and foster more collaboration among case workers. The primary goals for XCP2 are 1. To unify the development tools. You see, with XCP Designer, there's a single integrated composition environment for end-to-end -end development of complex case-based applications. There is also a unified method for packaging and deploying applications within the XCP Designer tool. The deployment of packaged XCP applications can also be scripted using XMS, which is the typical method for deploying them to a private cloud. Team collaboration is enabled by allowing multiple developers to work on the same XCP project at the same time. A source control management system can be integrated to ensure proper adherence to normal development practices. While most XCP2 applications can be configured without extensive coding, XCP2 provides well-defined extension points for customizations. Now, just as a side note, a private cloud is a cloud environment under the control of an organization's IT department. Virtualization is a key enabling technology of the private cloud. Virtualization is the ability to increase the utilization of physical resources through techniques such as pooling and multiplexing. This applies to all components of the data center infrastructure, namely computer systems, storage, network, security, monitoring and management, and the application stack, all the way up to and including the desktop. This is a diagram that depicts the deployment architecture in XCP2. As you can see, the application is developed using the XCP Designer tool. Using the XMS client API, XCP Designer can deploy or update the application to the appropriate runtime environments. Alternatively, there is an XMS command line interface for deploying applications in batch. XCP Designer improves time to value by expediting development, deployment, and maintenance of solutions. Application developers can visually compose rich solutions without the need to code and partner more closely with business analysts to rapidly iterate and accelerate the design and implementation of solutions. XCP Designer is a standalone graphical Eclipse based tool. It can be installed in any environment, like your laptop. It doesn't require a documented repository to develop, but you'll need access to a documented repository to test your application. As stated on this slide, Task Space has been replaced with the new cutting edge user interface framework in XCP2. It's based on ext.js and Java Spring. This provides rich and flexible layouts and faster performance and custom styles. It even supports iOS devices using the Safari browser. In order to introduce you to the software and the new concepts in this release, this Concordant Insurance application will have you start from the very beginning to configure a new application that makes use of many of the main concepts available in XCP 2.1. This insurance application will handle the management of automobile insurance policies and their related vehicle information, as well as the processing of claims against those policies. We won't be able to demonstrate everything, 
but remember there are full courses available from Education Services where you can interact with an instructor and other students to gain more complete knowledge. Okay, so let me give you a quick tour of the completed application so you can have an idea of what we'll be creating. So this is the Concordant Insurance application. When you start it up, it goes to the policy search page. You can see we have some menus. Technically this has been configured as the home page, policy search page. We can search for individual policies. For example, let's search for Barney Rubble here. Okay. We can edit the last policy, which is Peter Smith. You can see we've added this Ford F-150 to their policy. We can add more vehicles, so there's a one-to-many relationship with the policy and the, the vehicles. There's also a bunch of claims. So for example, here's a claim that's been pre-approved or one that hasn't even started yet. I have to go like this and do the view claim. This happened in Carlsbad, California at Legoland. We can look at the tasks page and view the tasks that are left to work on. So here's a, a claim that started processing, but it hasn't finished. So it's been pre-approved, but it hasn't quite finished. So if we wanted, we could open that up. And we can acquire it and then approve it. Complete and that'll be done. We go back to the tasks page and we will see that that one's no longer there. Claims can have supporting documents. So let's say for example we open that up and if we want we can import documents from our hard drive into this. For example it might be a picture or it might be something like an assessor's assessment and you would just click the button to add the file and then you get a chance, there's these things called page fragments that will get a chance to actually edit the data in for that document. Let me cancel out of this. Once you have documents, we'll be able to search for them using full text searching and then we'll be able to examine some information based on the BAM services so when tasks are added to the work queue for this, they're added to the BAM server as well, and BAM will chew on them and allow you to do historical queries. So for example, here we're getting a percentage of approved versus denied. It's a status. And then here we have an average claim processing duration of 260 seconds. And normally it would be like in days or whatever, but um, when you're running a demo real quick, you'll do it in seconds. Then we also have some other system pages here. One is managing roles. So the application administrator, whoever you assign as that, can add people to the role. So typically we'll have two roles, and one of them will be administrator, and the other will be, well, several roles for the application, depending on what they're going to be doing. So you can add more people or groups to the roles, just like you're used to doing in Documentum kind of user interface. And the other thing that we can do is add application parameters. So sometimes we'll be able to deploy this to a production environment that isn't called concordant and specify a different cabinet for where the documents will be stored and maybe the work queue as well that can uh, name the work queue. So that's essentially the whole application. There's a whole bunch of other details but it'll take us quite a while to get through it all because there are a lot of different user interface widgets and objects and artifacts that we have to create and tie together and queries and business processes.